When people ask me what the worst roller coaster I've ever ridden is, there's one coaster that comes to mind. Coaster Express at Parque Warner Madrid in Spain. And it's not even close. This roller coaster is the epitome of a disaster. Let me begin by saying I have an extreme tolerance for rough wooden roller coasters. I can tolerate almost any roller coaster as long as it doesn't bash your head. Hades 360? Amazing. Predator and Zeus? Great. Grizzly, Wildebeest, and Mighty Canadian Mindbuster? Not good, but smooth enough. Bandit? Bumpy but rideable. But I finally hit my limit with Coaster Express. This ride is painful. Coaster Express opened in 2002 with Parque Warner Madrid. And this was the last roller coaster ever built by the infamous Roller Coaster Corporation of America, or RCCA for short. So you could say this company went out with a bang. RCCA designed seven roller coasters in total. Coaster Express is one of three still operating, joining Montezuma at Hopi Hari in Brazil and Bandit at Movie Park Germany. And their portfolio also include the original Rattler at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, Son of Beast at Kings Island, and Magnus Colossus at Terra Mitica. And what do all seven of these roller coasters have in common? They are regarded to be some of the roughest wooden roller coasters in the world. I have only had the misfortune of riding two roller coasters from RCCA in Bandit and Coaster Express. But as I hinted at earlier, Bandit wasn't what I would call brutal. I know that Coaster has a reputation for being among the worst wooden roller coasters in the world, but I didn't find it unbearable. Rather, I found Bandit to be slow and boring. Going into Coaster Express, I erroneously thought this coaster was another Coney Island Cyclone clone, much like Bandit. For some reason, I thought Bandit and Coaster Express were sister coasters. So imagine my shock to see this giant twister that looked like a smaller son of beast minus the loop. And smaller probably isn't the right word to describe Coaster Express, because this is a giant ride. Coaster Express stands 120 feet tall, or 36 and a half meters tall, boasts a top speed of 59 miles per hour, or 95 kilometers per hour, and a total track length of 4,574 feet, or 1,394 meters. It has a dense wooden structure, much like something like Mean Streak. And like Mean Streak, this coaster also has a mean streak. One of the biggest issues with this coaster are the Intamin trains, and specifically the Intamin T-Bar restraints. 99% of the time, the Intamin T-Bar is one of my favorite restraints in the world. The T-Bars are extremely freeing and really allow you to experience airtime. Typically, you'll find the Intamin T-Bar on Intamin's glass smooth steel roller coasters. Coaster Express is anything but glass smooth. Coaster Express uses those T-Bars as instruments of pain. If you're familiar with the T-Bar, you know the restraint has a metal bar between the legs of riders. And that's a major problem for a coaster that jackhammers like Coaster Express. My calves, thighs, and legs mercilessly kept slamming into the center bar. It felt like my legs had been pummeled almost a hundred times by a baseball bat by the time the ride ended. But Coaster Express offers so much more than just leg pain. Head pain? You bet. This ride is imperfectly engineered so you'll come off with a headache from the shoddy track work. Back pain? For sure. This coaster feels like it runs square wheels. And the scariest part is that Parque Warner Madrid knows this coaster is brutal, and they pull out all the stops, but it's no use. A slow lift hill? Better. Coaster Express actually brings you to a full and complete stop atop the lift for a good 15 to 20 seconds. I'd say it's to take in the view, but you're literally staring at an empty desert atop the lift. The first time this happened, I thought Coaster Express had broken down, but that was just the norm for this ride where it stops atop the lift. What about trim brakes? There are several scattered about the layout, but none of this matters. Coaster Express will destroy you. It's also worth considering the climate of Madrid and the conditions you'll be riding Coaster Express in. I visited during the sizzling hot summer when the heat index was well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or 38 degrees Celsius. Those are not the most pleasant conditions for riding a roller coaster, especially one as rough as Coaster Express. My first ride was in the front row. I wasn't dumb enough to start with a wheel seat. Coaster Express begins with a supersized helix. 
It's nonstop jackhammering, and I don't know a lot of Spanish, but the screams of pain behind me were universal. This helix may have offered some laterals, but I couldn't separate those from the slams caused by the ride's excessive bumpiness. Coaster Express then follows this helix with a giant camelback. It feels like the train will stall out so you can forget about airtime here. Well, unless you count the non-stop jackhammering, that probably popped me out of the seat once or twice. It's impressive how much jackhammering a hill that slow can deliver. That's followed by a giant turnaround that is yet another violent element. It's at this point that I noticed another feature at Coaster Express. The hot air seems to congregate in the valleys, so at the lowest points of the ride when the jackhammering is at the worst, you're also being blasted in the face by a hot furnace. That just added salt to the wound. Coaster Express then crawls through another helix that's equally as brutal as the first. Again, this helix may have offered laterals, but the jackhammering was so bad and constant there was no way to distinguish laterals from bumps. That's followed by the finale. You have a bunny hill, followed by a turnaround, followed by another bunny hill, and yet another turnaround. The two bunny hills are easily the smoothest part of the ride, since they're the lone bits of straight track. Now, these hills are still rougher than any bunny hill should ever be, but they do offer meager pops of airtime. But the slight enjoyment of these hills are negated by the violent slams on the subsequent turnarounds. When the train hit the brake run, I felt like I had gone 10 rounds with Mike Tyson. Everything hurt. Now, I probably shouldn't have ridden Coaster Express a second time, but I foolishly asked myself the question, how much worse could it be in the back row? And that was a mistake. It was even rougher. I don't have a history of back issues, but it felt like I did when I got off that train. And that's not how I wanted to feel before boarding a transatlantic flight later that afternoon. So what would I rate Coaster Express? <laughs> this coaster's not getting a 1. No, this coaster is getting a 0. This coaster is slow, rough, and painful. I really can't think of any redeeming qualities about this ride. Now, I'd say Coaster Express needs to burn to the ground in the Spanish sun and combust into flames, but I'm holding out hope RMC can one day do something with this colossal structure. Those are my thoughts on Coaster Express, which is easily the worst roller coaster I have ever ridden. Yes, this is worse than even the worst SLC or full layer that I've ridden. What's the roughest roller coaster you've ever ridden? I'd love to hear your thoughts about that roller coaster or Coaster Express in general. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate if you gave this video a like and consider subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for listening.